We are back with you now on Listens Live, Brian Schlonsky, and you can see uh, my guests here waving at you. Larry Hello, Weiss, yeah, owner and president of Elder Advisors. Don't been go anywhere me, else. Give me a hard time. A, my socks weren't bright enough. B, <laughs> I'm not bright yeah, enough. Uh, I'm, I'm flat. Just, I Brian, think it's the, Brian, Brian, never mind, Brian, Larry. Never I think, to be Larry. fair, your socks <laughs> represent your flat delivery today. <laughs> okay. Just boring but, but and here's dull. The thing, yeah, right? I'm falling asleep on my television. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm but it's I'm only where to go. Uh, I'm fascinated upwards. they didn't ask you to host. Or maybe they didn't ask you to host Ugh. for a reason. Yeah. Barbershop law. <laughs> okay. Barbershop law. So we're talking about the teasers. Yeah, good transition, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, barbershop law can be devastating to families because we always have a couple empty seats. And I point to them when you open up the workshops, which will be at Louisville on Monday, Clarksville on Tuesday, and E-Town on Wednesday. And those empty seats are because some people have subscribed to the barbershop law that nothing can be done. <laughs> Bob at church said, Mary Agnes, who's in Arkansas, said when her grandson Ben Jones went into the nursing home, <laughs> all this type of stuff. There's problems. There doesn't have to be. But uh, to Amy Wheatley's credit, uh, you know, I don't know everything. Uh, when there's a legal component, I refer to attorneys. And we had a lady come in a couple of weeks ago who had talked to an attorney about these type of matters, and it just seemed like there was a disconnect. And so Autumn, who was with the family, called me, and I called Amy Wheatley at Stein Law and said, I've got a fire I need put out here. She moved heaven to She called Autumn, made the appointment. We met with the family last week, and now we're actually getting some sense of this, because until then, the family member was just completely stressed out. She went and talked to an attorney, but evidently, you know, there was some disconnect there. And so Amy kind of got involved, so kudos to Amy Wheatley at Stein Law. You know, we're not over the hump yet, but at least we have some insight, which we didn't have two weeks ago. Yeah. So and thank absolutely. you, Amy. Well, and look, you guys have been around this for a long time. You've, you've seen everything in, in this line of work. Why do you think there is so much advice thrown around by people who are not qualified to give it? I can't answer that because I, I just genuinely don't know. I don't know sometimes if it's hubris. See, people just don't want to admit they don't know. But, you know, if I don't have the answer to something and I don't know everything, I surround myself with top talent. I've got a rack of business cards, whether it's attorneys, uh, CPAs, uh, appraisers, realtors, people that empty out house, auctioneers, whatever, because I don't know everything. So for me, it's, if I don't know the answer, I'll say, you know, it's a good question. Let me get back to you. Like the other day, I had to call Amy and say, this is way over our heads. We need an attorney in the room. And she came back and we were talking about as we were coming in the studio today. And I think one of the things, so I have a, the business section of the Courier Journal. Um, I read the Courier. <laughs> you brought notes <laughs> too. Sunday, yeah. yeah. Talks about one of the tools that Amy uses for the for the clients about setting up trust as a way to transfer wealth, uh, create financial stability, that kind of stuff. And I think this this these topics, one when it comes to health, when it comes to aging, right, culturally is just taboo. Um, taboo. Taboo? Taboo. Taboo. Culturally taboo. Taboo. <laughs> anyway. Taboo. <laughs> so, but I think, you know, when we talk about finances and things like that, it's deeply personal and it's and, and it's deeply private. So um, anyway, I think Amy does a great job of setting up with the clients and building that rapport um, and making a safe and comfortable space to have a conversation. Um, that we talk about that at the workshop. You don't have to bring any of that information to the workshop. We don't talk about that at the workshop, but we, we talk about it and then we set up an appointment with you to talk about it a little bit in depth. But don't you think some of the, yeah. just the privateness, and, I and think. It um, is, I mean, I've had the conversation with my own parents and I know it was difficult. You know, it was difficult because they they went my whole life not telling me how much money they made and what all they had. And and then to have to make those, you know, have those conversations with me as an adult, it was, it was hard, but it needed to be done. Mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of um, how I made this kind of transition into Larry and Lindsay is, is kind of through my own parents. You know, they needed to figure out what they were going to do with all of their stuff before they had to go into a nursing home. They're both in great health and doing well now, but you have to plan for these things ahead of time. And if you've never gone through it before, these are these are huge obstacles that you sometimes have to, to cross and, and, and they end up being major problems if you don't get on well, top of it. it is, I'm sorry, I know I'm no. gonna steal Larry's no. It's relatively simple. That's the thing. Like if you're again, if you're my if you're my mid sixty healthy person Today, it's simple. It's simple to come out to the workshop. The strategies that Amy used, the support that we provide, it's simple. When it's a crisis, is that, you know, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. Right. Is that what you say? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it, it, yeah. Becomes, it becomes very overwhelming and stressful. Um, and, 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 and a crisis, we call it a crisis because it's a crisis, but it doesn't have to be, to Amy's point. And, but it's funny how things kind of 
go, we're working with a couple of brothers now uh, who were referred to us from a client that Lindsay engages on personal care, visits with his wife all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the brothers were convinced they were gonna lose the house, not one, but two houses. Well, guess what? They're keeping both houses. Yeah. How are you doing that? Well, just like the Colonel, I'm not gonna share my secret recipe. But, uh, <laughs> but it, you will we, at the workshops. We did. Yeah, <laughs> come to the workshops and yeah. it starts there. But here's a family, barbershop law, was convinced nothing could be done. Why even bother? Just lose everything, throw it up. Well, we're keeping both the houses and we're still putting some money in their pocket and we're making sure mom is taken care of. How good is that? Because they've been writing checks for a long time. Yeah, big time. Been, they've been big time and that's the thing we can't get back anything that you've right you know you've already not even Brian <laughs> not even me. I, I will try I'll do what I can what you've already <laughs> spent but we can protect what you have today and I think that's just so I think that's so important there is no reason y'all not to come to the workshop right. I can't yeah. think of a single one I was gonna say let's hit the workshops again to make yeah. sure they know where to go uh, what went into the thinking of making sure you spread these out so you can make sure people can get to them easily? well it's just that you know it just spread it out we make ourselves available for the Kentucky people May 15th 10 a.m. at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive right next to the Cracker Barrel and then Tuesday morning at the uh, Hampton Inn in Clarksville on Broadway just off Veterans Parkway and Wednesday Wednesday, the 17th, down in E-Town. E-Town. E-Town at the Hilton Garden Inn in E-Town. All these are at 10 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Be there. Freeworkshop.com. Amy's going to be there. Larry's Amy going to be there. Representing the legal component because there's always a legal component in almost every case. And it's just really great when we have an attorney there. People ask legal questions because I'm not an attorney. Legal questions. It's delightful that we'll have Amy there this month to answer those questions on both sides of the river. Well. I want to thank all three of you for being here with us today. It's important work. It's important stuff people need to know about. You provide the availability for them to plan for this. When are you coming back? Because I'll make sure I'm, I'm uh, I dressed expect more for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think, is it Thursday? I think we're back on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is a baseline, Brian. We have nowhere to go but up with you, okay? You can, <laughs> baseline up from here. You can pick my color suit. What, what am I going with? Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Has to be a good one. Do not give him that power. No, yeah, don't give Larry the power. Thank Too you much. for being with us Bye, here. Bye, Kentucky Anna. I'll see you at the race on Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>